a search and rescue dog that worked the streets of Iraq and even helped find people at the Pentagon after 9-11 is now battling cancer. Joe Bartell sat down with the dog's owner in Roswell today. He's live tonight to tell us about the challenge they're now facing. Joe. Tom Sage, the Border Collie, has answered the call of duty countless times, serving our country in some of its darkest hours. Sage is now battling cancer, and her owner says she needs help saving Sage's life. You couldn't tell by looking at her, but 10-year-old Sage has done some incredible things. She just was always, from the very beginning, so willing to do anything. Uh, her, her job was to be a disaster dog. After 9-11, Sage helped rescuers pull bodies from underneath the rubble at the Pentagon. For her service, Sage is able to participate in a health screening each year as part of a 9-11 canine study. This year, doctors found something. The radiologist detected a tumor down deep between her lungs, and that's, that's how we, were, we found out about it. I, I guess you could say that 9-11 saved her life. Diane Wetzel and her dog have been on countless missions, even helping to find missing soldiers in Iraq. And come back in off foot patrol and everybody would be tired. But this little dog could bring a smile to any soldier's face. And with a Frisbee, you had a friend. Now Wetzel doesn't know how she's going to pay for Sage's surgery. Her job is in jeopardy because of the possible closing of the Roswell Correctional Facility. She is asking for help to save her friend and American hero. I could never imagine life without her. Uh, I know someday I'll lose her, but I'm not ready now. <laughs> Sage's treatment could be as much as $6,000. Friends have set up an account at Pioneer Bank in Roswell for anyone who can help with expenses. Reporting live in Roswell, Joe Bartels, Eyewitness News 4.